This is a um, an all-in-one cooler that came on a computer that was given to me, and um, so I want to use it. And I've never had a liquid-cooled um, system, and I've heard of, you know when they first came out, they were using um, I think mineral oil because mineral oil, if you know if you get a water leak, you're gonna you know, have shorts, but uh, mineral oil you can it won't it's not conductive i've actually seen whole pcs in like a 10 gallon aquarium everything the power supply the hard drive everything immersed in the in, in, a, in a, an aquarium with mineral filled with mineral oil so um i don't think i want to go the mineral route mineral oil route and um basically when i took the cold plate off it goes on the top of the processor and it smells just like automotive coolant you know, I don't know if that's factory or if the factory stuff was drained. It's a, um, you know, it's a pretty new, it's probably a couple of years old PC. It's a, um, it's a, I'm not real familiar with AMDs. In fact, I, I know nothing about them. It's an AMD and it's like a FX, something FX, the, the CPU, but it's got, um, it's got, um, it has a uh, PC4 memory. So, um. Or wait a minute. I think it was PC3. Yeah, I think it, was, so it might be a little older. I think it had PC3. So, um, you know, I, it may be factory, the, the, the automotive coolant, or somebody may have put that in themselves. But, I mean, automotive coolant, there's in the cooling system on a car, there's all kinds of different metals, and they, they have rust inhibitors, um, you know, through in the, the coolant to keep corrosion down to a minimum. So I think it would be perfect. And I'm going to do that, but I want to, I want to find a way to make this so I can do it just like a car, you know, where I can, um, force all the air out. Cause like, if I just fill it, you know, like, like it is now and I just fill it, there's still, there's going to be air in there. Cause I just can't get it all the way to the top. You know, that's just a fact. There's going to be some air in there. And the air is going to always end up in the radiator, which you don't want it, you know. So I'm going to take, see if I can take this end cap. It looks like it's just got two clips that hold that end cap on. I'm going to see if I can drill. I mean, I got this for free, you know. I wouldn't do this if it was one I bought. I would just fill it. But I'm going to experiment. And so I'm going to take, those clips look like they bend back and then that cap comes off. And there should be like a tube going across there for the coolant. And by the way, this is what it is. If you want to know, let me zoom in. So this is the make. It's a um, it's a five fifty LC Aztec, and they they have good reviews. I mean, I, on YouTube, there's a lot of good reviews on them of people having them, and it, I like it because it's just for one fan. I mean, that's great. I've got one too that's all the way across the top, but I think I'm going to try this one first. So I'm going to take this cap off just to recap. I'm going to take this cap off, take this recap. I mean, I'm going to take this cap off and I'm going to see if I can drill two holes. And then when I fill it, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, see, how should I do that? You know, what would be good is to, um, drill it and, you know, I'm going to have to thread it. And then thread like a, a pipe in there and just keep pouring fluid in until it comes out the pipe and then put this then put the cap screw I'm gonna have probably like um, grub screws or something like that that can screw in I'll screw the one in on this side and then um, I'll tilt it up and then screw the pipe and that should be really close to the top and then they'll screw the, the grub screw in so I'm going to start on that now I decided against taking the, um, the radiator apart I think if you take those end caps off I think that exposes it's like it's like an open channel and I don't really want to do that so I'm just going to try filling it the best I can and I think I can get it pretty good so I have some uh, Prestone 50-50 mix. It was the um, 
the full strength and then I just I what it did is I made too much for when I when I um, put the new radiator in my Sentra so I just poured it back into the into the um, container so that's 50 50 mix right there and I got a syringe and so I'm gonna try filling this So it looks like the one, the one port um, probably goes on the other side. Is on the other side of this, and what it does is it um, draws the coolant down through the fan, through the cooler, back up and out, out here, and draws it in on the other side. These are these two are separate, separate. It's a lot cooler. It's September now. It's like September 4th or 5th, something like that. It was nice and warm during the day. So it's taking a lot of coolant. That's good. Hopefully the air will be expelled out the other side. It's actually going a lot better than I thought it would. So it's starting to, what I'm wondering is if there's air trapped in this part down here. Oh, there's air coming out. I can see it bubbling up. So you can see it bubbling up pushing air out just heard that crazy woodpecker you can hear it every time I come out in the yard that, that woodpeckers here I think that's good. So now I'm going to put the, the cold plate on. Oh, there's there it goes. Just dropped right in place.
just drop right in place. Okay. So this connector is like a fan connector, so I assume it plugs into a fan port on the board, motherboard, and then you can look in the BIOS and see if the fan's spinning. You know, I mean the pump fan. Oops, it's leaking. Tighten it down. I have another screwdriver. No leak. It's a little wet around the sides. I have to dry that before I put it on. <clears throat> 